this is Judy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be working with Hillside Cottage, a new collection from Close to My Heart. And these are the two layouts that Close to My Heart has come up with. So I have all my papers cut out. Love it. Um, to make it how they designed it. But I'm going to add my own spin to it. So we will get creating and... Um, I'll pick some pictures and a title and embellishments and come back to let you know how I'm doing. Okay, so I've got my background and I stamped the board around both pieces. It's still kind of plain for me, even with a big piece of paper and this on the corner here like this. It looks really cute though, right? I love the fox. Anyway. I noticed in some of this paper it has like little streaks for the wood grain type and it has it on this too. It's what I love about this collection. And I thought I'd try to recreate that very lightly on this background and I might do it on this one too. We'll see how it works first. So I pulled out this old tool I had and God knows where I got it. It's a caterpillar tool. But it's supposed to be you get a paint on it and then you roll it like this and it splatters. <laughs> so, you know, it's like a toothbrush. You could use a toothbrush for the same idea. And what I'm going to do is use this to create lines because it's real stiff. And I thought I'd be able to create some lines going down. Now, I, d I need to get it a little bit wetter, though, to be able to pick it up with this tool because it is so, it's very hard bristled. So I'll add some water to it and this is the paprika ink from Close to My Heart. So we'll see how this goes. Oh yeah. And this will be, you know, the same kind of lines. I don't want to do a lot. And you know, wood is not perfect, so. Let's see. Okay, so this is gonna be this page. So we're gonna have a little bit showing up here, some here, and down here. a good one. I would like to get a good one right in here. It really creates some nice texture. So let's try it on this. Let's see which side is the, it's the dark side. So we'll use the light side. I might have to get some more, some more water. And that's probably all they'll show. So that's all I'm gonna do. And I'll do the other paper too. And then I'll be back. Okay, I got both pieces done. And now I've got these that I'm going to just sponge the edges with the paprika as well. I am definitely a inker sponger of the edges. 
And this covers up like I have a little bit of the paprika um, pattern on this piece that I didn't cut it close enough. So adding the ink to it covers it up. Makes it look like it was that way, supposed to be that way. But even the zip strip has that wood look to it. I just love that in this collection. And being, you know, the living on a farm with the animals and all that good stuff, um, the wood is uh, part of my decoration, my my home interior. I just love it. And I like the subtleness of this collection, that it's not like in your face wood. We do have a really great wood grain line that I like too. So, all right, I'll be back after I get that done with pictures and more of a layout with embellishments, hopefully. All right, I am done with my layout, finally. I took a little break off of it, but what I ended up doing was adding a couple stickers here. I added some splatters with uh, Distress Oxide ink. I love how the um, dragging worked. I added my title. Um, this young lady rode my horse and won a queen contest for our Quarter Horse Association. So I wanted to scrapbook him with her. And she succeeded my daughter, who was queen the year before my daughter is here. So that is all done again. And I added a little embellishment cluster here. Um, now, I had a lot more photos, so I made a flip flap to go in here. So in my album, it will go like this. And as you flip the page, it will then go here. And then you'll have this. So that's a great way to incorporate um, extra photos. And I just added some paper underneath that to layer the photos on to coordinate with the layout to see how the black and lines up. I didn't have any more yellow, so I used some of this other yellow paper. It didn't really turn out, but you can't see that much, so I'm okay with it. Um, I didn't want to redo the whole thing, <laughs> so it's okay. But I hope you enjoyed that, and I have one more layout to make with this paper collection. I did also make some cards I'll share, because these are really cute. I added our little bitty sparkles. Oh, and I do have to add some bling to those pages. So this is the little horse one. And then there's a little bunny rabbit. I hope I've got these in frame. Do I have these in frame? Yeah. And then another bunny rabbit. Oh, and his eye moved. i got to move that. Okay. And a little ducky with a bird. And I have them all. And another ducky with a bird. Oh, and there's one missing. Oh, here it is. Hang on. Similar to the first one with the horse, but this one has the fox. I'm going to put it on his nose. Okay, so I'll be back with that last layout in another video. Thanks.